No beer. You want Pepsi? No beer, sorry. Great. There were two of them up there a minute ago. Were there? There's the other one. There's the other one over there. Thank you. Certainly. Is that Rocky said that was about the team? There it is. Can I see it? Can I see it? Up to the little rest stop. Nice bathrooms. I'll tell you about the trail that comes down, the ancient Indian trail that comes down yeah. over right over here. They call that the steps trail because of those steps. They think it's referring to that's a way in and out of the canyon for the people who are passing through. If you look in the middle, there's some more steps right there. And those would be pointing to this canyon over here. There's another trail that's very rarely used that goes in and out of the canyon also. If you look at the three bighorn sheep to the right of the step. Some of the bighorn sheep have vertical stripes, some of them have horizontal stripes. They believe the horizontal stripes are for females and the vertical stripes for males. If you look very close at that female with the horizontal stripes, it almost looks like she's giving birth. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see right, that? Right, right. Yeah. And there's another bighorn sheep down below. Um, underneath these middle steps, do you see there's another bighorn sheep there? Yeah. It's really hard to see. That's a very, very old drawing because that has been covered over with desert varnish and for that to happen, it has to be one to two thousand years old. So that's a very old drawing. Um, and the Park Service archaeologists can date some of these um, drawings by how much of that desert varnish has formed over the picture. And um, I, of course, am not an expert and can't do that for you though. I think you um, pat yourself off the <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you all kinds of stories. Um, the, six, the six animals next to that faded over bighorn sheep are all pronghorn antelope. And um, if you notice, there's no corn, no sunshine, no clouds, no rain, no pictures having to do anything with agriculture. So that tells us the people who lived here were hunter-gatherer people and not agricultural farming people. 
Um, nobody probably lived right here in this area. They probably passed through, maybe lived up on the mesas and did their thing up there. Um, keep in mind that when the Colorado River was still wild, this area probably would have flooded during years of big floods. Um, down at the bottom, if you look really closely, there's a line of conifer antelope followed by a little bit of white. Mm -hmm. Those pictures just showed up about five years ago. What happened is this wall in a big rainstorm became a huge waterfall. Pounded down and all that sand washed it away, and oh. those pictures showed up. The Park Service believes there are 10 to 15 feet more pictures beneath the sand, but they're choosing to leave the sand there because that's the best way to protect them. Nobody touches them, and nobody can draw on them, deface them in any way. So um, maybe in the next rainstorm we'll see some more. I don't know. It'll be interesting to find out. Furthest over to the left, you see a man holding a son or a daughter, and we think that looks like a man teaching his son to hunt, and you see a bighorn sheep, what looks like a spear or... Um, an arrow going into him. The farthest one over is the really obscure one. People think that it could be a family symbol of a tribe, someone who spent a lot of time here. Other people think it is an amphibious creature on top, a pronghorn antelope or a deer below, the earth in between showing all things being connected, the change of the season, things like that. I really have no idea. Um, if you have an idea, you're welcome to share it. But um, the same with all of these pictures, this is only what people who have studied the ancient people believe these pictures mean. Nothing is for certain. That's just our best guess because no one's around to tell us what exactly these things mean. Um, up at the top is a W. That could be the explorer named Weathero. He could have discovered this panel and recorded it, and then another explorer wouldn't have to come and record it over again. Otherwise, people think it could be a canyon, two canyon walls and a river or a mountain valley, something like that. So, so that's our best guess is at what these pictures mean. If you go to the very left, it, you can also see a bird between. Where's that bird? Life, they have to find a new mate if their mate dies, and they probably found a new place to nest. So, um, the park service actually rappelled down, and that's how we know how big the nest is. Wow. So, actually, Golden Eagle's nest. Mostly, the so park the service does it only for surveying and things like that. Um, years ago, they used to see eagles flying in and out of it. I think that would have been pretty neat. Pointing finger? Pointed rock. Finger rock. Yep. Finger rock, huh? Very good. Oh, yeah, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought pointed finger. Pointed finger. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about Powell after lunch, but um, he's a pretty interesting man, had some pretty interesting expeditions down the Colorado River and the Green River in Utah. All the way down to the Grand Canyon. First person to boat in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'm right. I'm 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 what? No. Get me on film. No, I ever turn the camera on, you sure I can goof. Got a little hill in front of us here. Really cool dream. So we get everything straight away. I got you on picture. Is it water cold? Yeah. So, do it quick. Yeah, do it quick. I'm videoing you right now. All Here, right. I'll take your jump. What is it? Trout. Yeah. Trout jumped? Uh -huh. Just, uh, right over there. Right over there. Oh, they went by. Cool. <laughs> there we go, we'll call that turkey's head. Battery is low. Yeah, it does.
Just a rock, yeah. Yeah, but it's... That's the rock that's going to fall pretty soon. What would you do if it fell right there? I thought she hadn't moved for a really long time. Calm <laughs> like, down. Grace, gee whiz. She's got a lot of money for that now. She's using her. That's fine. Yeah, Grace and Brandon thought they saw a squirrel, one of those new ones. And I thought I just heard a moose back there. Well, now we're about to look at the snow. There's two of them right above us. Yeah, there's a Whoa. crow right there. He keeps crowing. Man, those things are huge. <laughs> well, here's the snow. Oh. Oh, help me get my all oh, there's all about it. Gracie and Brandon have been having a snow fight. Oh, here it comes. Oh! And then here's the snowman they made. No, I made. Hey, look up, camera. No, Brace. I'm getting Grace. No! No, stop! Here's a direct hit. Oh! Ow! Oh, I better help Grace real quick. Oh, it's a big fight. We're gonna sing it. Grace, sing it. So, oh. You never said. Yeah, I said I wasn't gonna hit you in the face anymore. No. Come on, let's play. Run, Grace, run over here. Run, Grace, come on, let's go. Come on. If you don't come, Grace, then you're not gonna sing it over here. Come on. There. Grace, come over to this one over here. It's smaller, but no one's used it yet. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Oh, there you mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. You can hear all the birds. Look at that moose right there. Isn't it humongous? It's right behind that tree. Hey, camera, say cheese! No, Grace, don't. Oh, Grace, not again. I just cleaned it out. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'll clean Daddy, it out. Again. Yes, Yay! Come play in the snow. Jump in it, Grace. You gotta use the bathroom? Which one? Yes. Well, we're gonna do a little hiking today. We're gonna go down this trail in a minute. It goes all the way down there. We're not gonna go that far. But. Straight down. I keep focusing on the branches there. See the trail at the bottom of the hill? That's what I want to go on. Dad, for a little way. Isn't that hard to get down there? Yeah, we're not going to go that far. Let's just go Why? like 30 I minutes. Don't dance out. El Jefe. Where's this the way you go? Right here? Where's El Jefe? No, that's. Yeah. La Jefe. Okay. Oh, no, okay? What are they doing? People all the way down there. Alright, we're on the famous Bright Angel Mule Trail here. Mules aren't running right now because they're repairing the trail. So, we can hike it though. We're going to try to hike all the way down there. But they said don't try to do that in one day, so we're not going to do that. But we're going to walk as long as we can. Oh, that's very quiet. Can you talk about me?
Wait, Dad's eating a snack at least. No, let's go down to the end of this dam so we can see because these trees are in the way. That's where we started, up there. Came all the way down here. Now wait here. Where are you going? I'm trying to stay. No. There's poop there. Don't sit there. <laughs> We're going to go down. We can't get good view because of these trees. All right, we hiked all the way down the trail here to the bathroom. We are going to rest here and head back up. So far behind, I think I'm first. You are first because we're going back to start now. I'm going to take a break for a little while. Then we'll head back. Man, that's gorgeous. All right, we made it down a mile and a half straight down. Grace, please stop. <laughs> mile and a half. It was pretty easy except for the icy places coming oh, down. Oh, yeah, I yep. slipped. Now we're going to start to go back up. Yep. It's a long way down here. Uh -huh. so we're going to be heading up in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. We started all the way up there. Good time. All the way up there. And it took us almost two hours to get down. So they say it'll take four hours to get up. So we're getting started here in just a minute. Grace wants to get on. <laughs> Look at her after a two mile, two hour hike. Oh, my back hurts. All right. Well, the really tough people can make it all the way out to there and back in one day. But most of them can. Well, we made it back up. All the way. All the way. All the way. We're at three miles. Mile and a half down. Mile and a half back. Let me see here. Nobody looks like Wow, up. that is so big. I just seen one of those before we left. I think you did. He's just above the... He might be coming this way. Just cannot get him on this. They say they don't flat, they just soar. Here he comes. Look for something. Look at that. It is one. I see the stuff on his oh. they, they tag him. Oh Look at that. One. He has tags. I can't get him. I can't get him. Oh, it's such a miracle. Wow. Here he comes. He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> It's a condor. That's a condor. I hope I'm getting it. I just cannot tell. Because of the sun? Yep. Yeah. I know I'm getting it a little bit. Because... Get the, the binoculars out. Karen's got him. He's going back. He might come back again. It's got tags on it. Brandon saw him. Yeah, but it's got no red. No, they don't get red. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, Grace. I got him finally. Oh, no. Oh, he's 
Oh my god. Thank you. That's a California condor, the rarest bird. Well, Here comes another condor. Oh, 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 he's turning. Oh, Huh. Like they have big white yeah, they do. They like the trailing edge of the wing. Here, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. The leading edge is flat. Keep coming. I see the redhead in this one. I'm really, I, I'm confused now. I'm not sure. I think uh, the immature ones, five years or so, have black and then the rest have red. But one way or the other. Because the other one looks black. Yeah, I'm getting him. We did see one down here, so that's, uh, perhaps that's what we saw first. Oh, my God. Right over oh look at there. Up, up, up. Look down. What number, what number? 57. No. That's a different one. Oh, that was a different one. The other one had yellow. Yeah, that was different. The other one's already way down there. <laughs> this is a different one. Two in the Some people never see these at all. We're seeing two of them. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm getting them. It's hard to tell on this camera. Yeah, get your camera ready, huh? You got one already? Picture of him? Short landing place around here because it juts way out there and of course they hate to flap their wings so there's plenty of room there is that one ahead of us up in the sky up there's headed toward us coming right at us he's gonna land too he may he does that would be so awkward. he is you watch him there he goes well you never know he might be he's gonna do it oh this is good it's the red-headed guy there on the bottom and i think wasn't i think the black-headed one was 57. is that right yeah yes. uh-huh so we didn't catch that other guy, did we? There he He's goes. headed that way. Look at that. There he goes. Look at that. Ooh. Charlie. Oh, well, that would be even. What a shot. shot. Just as he lands. I can't zoom in with this thing. There's a way to make it zoom in yeah. more, but I don't know how. Let me see well, I'll see him. But I always say that's their favorite landing spot. So they're really doing them. They're doing Look out, right here in the head. You see him nice and tall. But they sit there so much that they whitewash that. Doing what birds do best, huh? <laughs> Look at it. Okay, she messed me up. I lost my place. Oh, yeah. Looks like a big pigeon. Well, and you, you still don't get the idea until they go right overhead and then you get a pretty good idea. Whoa, they are big. They did a pretty good show for us. One day I actually saw 21 right here. Whoa. Wow. That's 21 out of 40. Well, the reason there were only 30 something at that point. No. Nope. Part of the trail, right? Come on, Grace, what was your favorite part? <laughs> well, I like seeing the, the ice cream. Ice. Ice. The ice waterfall? Yes! Ice waterfall. Look at our phone. Look at our phone. That's Grace's. I like to see in the condor at the end. That was, that was awesome. my favorite part. We're waiting here on the bus. Take us back to the campsite. No, we're gonna get that stuff and then go into the campsite. My rock! That's enough. <laughs> we are Oak Creek Canyon. So pretty. South of Flagstaff, Arizona. This isn't Grand Canyon, This is Oak Creek Canyon. It's not Grand Canyon. I know, right? And there's a little creek down there. Zoom in. That's it. Alright, can we find it? There it is, I think. There's the creek. Zoom back, Mom, and get the whole view. I am. There we go. 
has a lot of ponderosa pines on it. Done. That's what the no, it's not. Down. Snow, snow, Down. snow. My turn. No. My turn, Grace. And there's some rocks over here. Sorry. Grace, let's go find another one, Grace. Got climbing a mountain over there. Look, Grace. I've got the binoculars, y'all want? Mom, yes. Yeah, yeah. Remember we took them out to look at the pine. Did you put them back? Brandon? Mm -hmm. they're, they're probably still in the van. I don't see him. Where is he? You really think it's a van, though? Dad, is this an oak? This is an oak, Dad. It is? How big no, this oak is? duh. You just said no, that. It has pine needles, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a pine tree. Dad, it's a pine tree, not an oak. You can go jog there he is, right there. The binoculars, which is there. Huh? No, that's not him. I see the creek. Da yes. Daddy, I got two things. This lady gave her a charm, Sister, and because she dropped it and got a little mark on the stone. Mm -hmm. The creek. Uh huh. And so, and then I and I bought her some hair. Hang on, I'm trying to find this guy climbing up. They're over there. There he is. Right there. Boy, it's hard to find people in this thing. I know. They're climbing up. Mm -hmm. that grace of climbing the mountain. I've never seen that in person. Oh, there it is. He's a climbing up. You're shaking me. You're shaking me, Grace. Stay here, Dan, or are we going to leave? No, we're going to leave. We need to get closer to the uh, Phoenix. Yeah. Man, that is gorgeous up there. You got a quarter, anybody? I, I think I do. Thank <laughs> you. 